So today, I'm going to share with you guys a special hadith that I've been saving from Musa'ar al-Shia, which is one of our Shia books, one of our main compendiums of hadith. Um, it's pretty funny because it uses some interesting language from one of the imams. So I'll read the translation right here. Is the Arabic. We'll go over to the English right now. So here's the English translation. It's uh, starting off as a man visited Aba Abdullah. This is a title for the sixth Imam in Islam. And it says, and they said, Aslamu alayka o Amirun Mu'minin. And this title, Amirun Mu'minin, obviously means, O Commander of the Faithful. So he, the Imam Ali Islam, got up off of his seat and said, What? This name is not allowed except for Amirun Mu'minin Ali bin Abi Talib, who is named this. And no one was named this name other than him, meaning Ali, and was pleased with it, except that he was one who was penetrated i.e. a passive homosexual. <laughs> now, one of the main things that you should pay attention is to the wording and was pleased with it, because it'll come in handy later. The source for this is Wasad al Shia, like I said, volume 14, page 600, hadith number one. You can also find this tradition in other Shia books, such as Bihar al-Anwar, and it's also found in Tafsir al-Ayyashi, with some slight changes in the wording. Now, this is the, the scan of the book, you can find it right here in Wasad al Shia. There's the Arabic wording right there. Now, the reason why I link this to the second caliph, Omar al Khattab, is because it's very famous that he named himself or assumed the title of Amir al Mu'minin falsely. Now, this is the story that I uh, took off of a Sunni website in regards to how Omar assumed that title. Basically, the short gist of it is. Um, after Abu Bakr passed away, people said that his title was not necessarily the Khalifa of the Prophet, but rather Khalifa of the Khalifa of the Prophet, because Khalifa al Rasul used to be the title of Abu Bakr. Umar thought that was annoying to say, so he wanted a new title. He asked one of his people, Amr bin Al As, to find him a better title. Um, this companion met some other people who used the term Amir al Mu'mineen towards Umar. And he was interested, and he took that title, basically, and then he used it for, for Omar. And then it says right here, this is part of the hadith, actually. It says, once that um, title was presented to him, it says, Omar became curious at being addressed Amir al-Mu'mineen. He asked Amr bin al-As to show him how he coined the term Amir al-Mu'mineen. Amr bin al-As said that the visitors from Kufa had used that term and he was attracted by the term he had used it. Now, this is the important part. It says, Omar said, we were in search of such a suitable term to signify the office I hold. And here is a term which is attractive. Now, isn't that important? Because when we go back, it says, and he was pleased with it. And Omar is saying right here that he found it attractive meaning he was pleased with it. So there you go. Omar is a passive homosexual. Here's some resources for the hadith that I just showed you guys about Omar al-As naming Omar Amir al-Mu'minin and him liking it. Al-Faruq. Al-Qadma ibn Khaldun, Kitab al-Adab, 